Good. Okay, you are at Auto Sports Fox Chapel location, uh, Fox Chapel, Pennsylvania. And uh, today we're going to present a 1980 Pontiac Trans Am. Now, this is kind of getting out of the era of the Trans Ams with the bigger horsepower and everything. And what we have here today is the biggest hammer you could buy in a Trans Am in 1980. Um, in fact, the ones in California had 305s in it. This is a, uh, a 305 Chevy. This is a 301 Turbo in this car, making approximately 210 horsepower. And uh, it, it just makes a lot of mid-range torque um, and pretty much a duplication of what the 400s used to do. Very, very close to what they used to produce. So we're going over it. Uh, a quick history of the car. It was left in an estate. Uh, we purchased it off the uh, uh, survivor of the estate, belonged to her husband. Uh, obviously, it was garage kept. He had a lift, did his own oil changes, all his own maintenance on it. The car's never been subjected to any type of trauma whatsoever. Uh, the paint on this car, from what we can ascertain, is all the original paint on it. If there is any paint work, we can't determine it. it um, it's just a really nice car. And you'll see from some of the closer photography that Anthony's going to supply with the uh, video and, and all the uh, uh, specs with the car. The paint itself is just very, very lustrous. It has a nice deep shine to it. Even though it's how many years old now, it's just as it was when it left the factory. You can't get one much nicer than this. But we're going to do an overview and show you whatever we can. And if there's any little tiny defects that I can pick out, I'm going to show them to you. What we try to do is depict every little flaw in the car, no matter what it is, so that whenever you get the car, when we ship it to you, there's no surprises. Oh, there's a little bubble that he told me was there, or there's a little tiny scratch that he said was there. And bear in mind, though, this is not a new Porsche or a, uh, a Ferrari, Ferrari 296 or anything. This is a car that was built in 1980 by General Motors, so we're not talking about the same perfection. Okay, getting into the car. Uh, usually you'll see on the front of these cars, the uh, this is a lastromeric front bumper, and usually these things have some spider cracks in them from a little bit of a nerf, you know, through the years. This car has absolutely none. And again, you can see the lustrous paint on this car. It's just as nice as it was when it was new. Actually, it's nicer because it's buffed out now and uh, actually a lot nicer than it was in 1980 when the car was released. There's no scuffs underneath on the front spoiler. Yeah, a little tiny bit on the center there. The original pinstriping is still intact on it. The little tiny, tiny scuff right in the center. A couple little chips in the... Uh, uh, paint stripe that goes along with it, but the important part is the grills, which are usually broken or shrunk up or deteriorated in some way, these are not. And again, the front bumper, not a mark, not a single mark anywhere on it, absolutely none. Nothing that you can uh, fault it for. The uh, gaps along both sides of the hood and across the front, of course, it goes clean up to the windshield is spot on. It cannot be any nicer than it is. It is as absolute for that era perfection. Turbo 4.9 designation on the uh, scoop that it has, which by the way, you'll see in our drive video, it does have the uh, lights that light up for degrees of turbo boost in it. So I think these things were boosted up to about nine pounds at that point in time, which gave them the horsepower that they had. Don't forget, in 1980, they had to conform to all the uh, federally mandated uh, emission specs that were um, uh, put into effect at that point of time. So this guy had to do that, and that's why we're down on horsepower in comparison to what they were in 1977 or 6 or 5 or whatever. But um, this is um, it's, uh, just a fantastic car. Um, the fender flares front and back on the wheels, which you'll see, going down the sides of it are as nice as can possibly be. There's no uh, chips or marks or scuffs on them. They still have the original paint striping on them the way they were. These are functional vents that do leave um, a lot of um, hot air out from underneath the hood. There's one on each side of the car that help evacuate a lot of the heat that uh, is, is produced underneath this hood because of that turbocharger being there. Very nice car, and again, the original paint striping that came from the factory. 
No marks or scoffs or any indication that the wipers have ever been used on it. 10 of 05, the last time it was inspected. But we assure you that this car will pass any inspection that there is. I mean, the tires are new on it. The exhaust system is original and just as brand new as you could ever find. Uh, there's all the lights are going to work for you on it. Everything is going to meet anyone's inspection. But we left the sticker in just to show that that was probably the last time it was on a road was somewhere 0405. But I have personally driven a car. I drove it uh, quite a few miles. Actually, I used it one weekend before we cleaned it up, and uh, the car does nothing wrong. It's just uh, it's an exemplary example, exemplary example of a uh, Pontiac Trans Am for that era. T-tops, everybody loves T-tops. You can't help but love that. And I smoke glass T-tops. And we'll show you in the trunk, there's also um, the bags that uh, you can put the tops in. Side windows, usually you'll see a little scrape on the side. And this one, eh, I can see where it's rubbing, but there's really not a scrape there yet. You know, you're, you're going to not have any indication of anything on the side window. A couple little cracks in this rubber that is the original window wipe whisker, whatever you want to designate it. Dual mirrors, of course, you know, that's the way they came from the factory in the Trans Am package. Um, going down the side of the car, obviously there's no dents or marks or scrapes or scratches or chips or absolutely anything. Um, Trans Am designation on it. I'm gonna grab the keys here so I can open the trunk for you. And you can see the way the doors open and close too. They're just, it's just as nice as you could ever expect. You don't need to slam it. It, um, it closes just the way it should. Gap on the back of the door to the quarter panel and on the front fender to the door are equal. They look to be about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch. Both very, very nice and just the way they should be. A Firebird designation on the side. And again, all the original pinstriping still there. The uh, black trim that usually, this is anodized aluminum here, but the black trim, which is anodized also, that goes around your windows, front and back. Uh, there's no buff throughs or marks or anything, rear window defroster. The uh, hatch, shelf, rack, tray, whatever you want to call it, is just as perfect as it was when it was new. It had not been replaced. Your uh, speaker vents the way they were from uh, 1980. Uh, which, by the way, we're going to show you this car was a radio delete. It was specifically ordered with no radio. And we're going to show you the window sticker that designates it as a radio delete car. It's a WS6 car also, four-wheel disc brakes. Um, fender flares front and rear on the rear tire. And you can see the wheels aren't curbed up or anything. They're just as nice and straight as can be. The... Um, which are also optional. The uh, double turn down splitter exhausts on it, the way they came from the factory as an option. Turbo Trans Am designation on the back. And usually these things have some spider webbing or some deterioration in the paint. This one does not. This paint is as lustrous as it is on the deck lid, quarter panels. I still haven't found anything. Surely to God I can find some kind of mark in a paint somewhere. There's a little tiny bit of checking just from age, normal age, from lacquer paint that they would have used in that era. And there's a little tiny bit there, but you gotta, now I can't find it again. If you look for it in the correct light and put your head at the right angle, you might find it. And again, you might not. Uh, it's as nice as you can possibly get. The uh, fitment of the rear deck, Again, everything lines up as it should. You got about an eighth of an inch on each side, about a quarter of an inch in the front, but it lines up as it should. The uh, tail lights, of course, are enclosed in here. Um, I remember. Okay, there's your space saver spare and the jack, original jacking instructions, all the uh, designation for the jacking, original factory floor mats. Not repos or anything. These are the original rubber floor mats that came from the factory from Trans Am. And there's also, you'll see this all in the uh, close-up photography, the um, bags, pockets, whatever you want to call them, that house the uh, uh, glass tops whenever you remove them. 
original gas cap still has the uh, um, plating on the uh, top of it. The car has absolutely, there's no wear at all on anything. Rubber is still soft and very pliable. This car spent its whole life in a garage, and you can tell it just by looking at it. There's, there's nothing that you can fault this car for. Uh, the undercarriage you're going to also see in the uh, uh, still photography that Anthony provides is just as sharp as can possibly be. Again, the back bumper, elastomeric the way it was in the front. Again, no marks at all. None. A couple little, you can see where somebody spilled some gas and it kind of a little bit discolored this light blue paint here on it. Just a little tiny bit, but again, factory striping on it, Trans Am designation, Pontiac. Um, can't find anything. Nothing on the back end of it. Uh, splitters the way they were on the other side. I gotta find something on this car. It's not a, it's not a Porsche or a Ferrari, so I mean, I I, I have to find something. It got to be something it's somewhere. Jesus, I don't know. Even your fender lips here, you know, your flares that are normally all stone chipped up. This one is not. And again, the tires are, they're new. They're BFG, radial TAs, and they're new. Uh, same thing on this side. A couple little tiny, again, you could maybe wet sand it and buff it. I wouldn't. It's the original paint on this thing. I would leave it alone. But if you look in the correct light at the right angle, you can see a little tiny bit of deterioration in the paint from just shrinkage through the years and i mean you really got to look for it guys i mean this is not something that just sticks out like a sore thumb i mean where do you see a trans am with doors closed like that i mean you think this thing was a porsche uh down the side same as the other side there's nothing there's nothing door gap look at this even the alignment of the uh the striping is spot on about a quarter eh, Three sixteenths of an inch in the front, about the same in the back. Pretty much the same, it mimics the other side. Window on this side is the same as it was on the other side. And again, the uh, uh, anodized uh, aluminum trim that goes around the front. Some very, very light stone chips. I'm gonna call them sand chips because they're not even stone chips. It's something through the years where road dirt has been thrown up, came up across, and hit this piece of trim. So this, there is a little tiny bit there. If you would put some uh, uh, WD-40 or something on your finger and go across it, you'd never see it. Again, the vent in the front, just the way it was on the other side to evacuate uh, a lot of the hot air that's generated by that turbo. It's just a fantastic car. And we're back where we started again, really. Side marker lights, everything on us, which I forgot to mention, they're perfect. They, there's no deterioration in any of the plastic components on this car at all. It's a great car. It um, presents itself very well. It's been a long time since I've seen this much originality on one of these cars that was not 60 or $70,000, you know, in a you know, or 80 or 90 or 100 grand in a black and gold one. Uh, this one, unfortunately, is not black and gold, but you got a two-tone blue, great color. It's a midnight blue on top. It has a blue cloth interior in it, which we're going to show you outside. It's pretty hard to see inside the building here. And um, we'll open the hood and show you what's underneath here where all the magic occurs. Okay. All the stickers still present with the car just the way it came from the factory. Still has the air pump on it. There's your turbocharger. Uh, of course, there's a four barrel quadrajet underneath the uh, air cleaner there. Air conditioning compressor looks like it. It's either been serviced or replaced one of the two. It looks like it's a fairly new one. Alternator's original. The um, underhood area of this car is just the way it was in 1980 when it left the factory. Some uh, aluminum um, heat shield from the hood, 
for the turbocharger and the exhaust. It's just an a, a original car. No one's ever messed with this. Nobody's modified it in any way. Uh, it has a huge radiator in it, probably because of the air conditioning and the turbo. Uh, power steering, power disc brakes, um, new battery. There's nothing. There's not a single mark anywhere underneath the hood of this thing that would show that it's ever been anything ever done to it. I mean, it's like I said, it still has the uh, uh, original air pump on it yet. This is as nice a Trans Am as you're ever going to find. We're going to do a quick uh, drive video on it for you, and then we'll show you all its amenities outside. You know, the interior, the paint, you'll be able to see a little bit better because, again, we're under fluorescent lights now in a building, but uh, it's pretty tough to do outside, especially down in Fox Chapel. We're right across from the... Uh, um, boat ramps for the uh, marina, so a lot of people in and out. This car is the nicest car you're ever going to find. It's available here at uh, Fox Chapel Auto Sport location, and uh, you're just not going to find a nicer one than this. It's going to be very nominally priced. It's not going to be a $60,000 car. It's going to be certainly less, probably less than fifty. dollars and the car is a real low mile car, I believe. What did it have on that? The 20 some thousand? Yeah, we'll show you the mileage, we'll show you the dashboard, we'll show you everything outside. Again, it's hard to depict on the inside of the building here, but we are gonna show, take it for a ride. We'll show you how it runs and show you all the amenities outside. It's here at Fox Chapel, call Anthony and buy the car.